This is the Catholic Daily Journal for Thursday, February the 7th, 2019. Today is the feast of Pio Nono, Pope Pius IX. He's the longest serving elected pope in church history. He was elected on 16 June 1846 and died today, 1878, which gives him about 31 years in the chair of St. Peter. And busy years they were. He made a slew of improvements to the Vatican City. He worked out complex deals and concordats with various nations. He presided over Vatican I and published the now prophetic Syllabus of Errors, in which he outlined the theological disaster area that is the post-1960s Catholic Church in Europe, the U.S., and South America. Pio Nono had a difficult life, and he inherited a long list of challenges, and still he was a remarkable pope. And Pope St. John Paul II beatified him in the Jubilee year and set his feast day to 7 February, the day he died in 1878. Today is the birthday of John Deere, born 1804 in Rutland, Vermont. At 17, he began an internship with Captain Benjamin Lawrence, a successful blacksmith, and entered the trade for himself in 1826. It took him 11 years to get a successful plow design to work and to sell, but boy, they sold like hotcakes. And his revised design, which he continued working on all the way through the next 20 years, he passed along to his son in 1857. He ultimately died at his home, wealthy and happy, in May 1886. And today, the company he created is famous for its green and yellow paint design and for making some of the best farm equipment anyone can buy. Only eight years after John Deere came into the world in rural New England, one of the greatest authors of modern English, Mr. Charles Dickens, was born in Old England, 1812, Portsmouth. He is the literary voice of the Victorian era. Oliver Twist, Nicholas Nickleby, David Copperfield, a a tale of two cities, great expectations, and of course his most popular work over here on this side of the pond, the short story of Ebenezer Scrooge and his very long night of being visited by three ghosts representing the past, present, and future of Christmas in London. A Christmas Carol was first published in 1843. What makes Dickens so readable is the depth of his characters. Unlike many other fictional works of the time, which were totally focused on plot or on literary wit, Dickens created characters which were realistic and relatable. Ebenezer Scrooge, Tiny Tim, Bob Cratchit, Fagin, Bill Sykes, Pip, Miss Havisham, Sidney, Charles Darnay, Abel Magwitch, Daniel Quip, uh, Samuel Pickwick, Wackford Squeers, my favorite name of his, Uriah Heep, Many of these characters are alive and well in modern English usage in the UK today. Personally, I think Dickens' use of language to paint a picture continues to work well in spite of some of the language and the vocabulary difficulties, even as a modern American English speaker. A Tale of Two Cities is genuinely funny. A Christmas Carol really is scary. Pip's early home down by the prison ships and Great Expectations is bleak, and the heart goes out to the poor kid. My favorite author, G.K. Chesterton, was a big fan of Dickens, and his two-part biography brought the author a bit of a reboot in the popular mind uh, of Londoners in the last 75 to 80 years. Charles Dickens, born today, 1812, Portsmouth, England. The Catholic Daily Journal is supported by listeners like you. For more information, visit catholicunderground.com. Until next time, be on the lookout for the Lord at work in your life.